hear that? That was a coyote. Whether it's a conscious choice or whether it's um, a subconscious kind of decision, well, I guess maybe just a subconscious kind of um, wanting of beauty, I guess. I mean, this, this to me is beauty. It's the greatest gift we have. It really doesn't matter who you are, what you do for a living, but when you experience this, it doesn't matter where you live, but when you see the end of the day or the beginning of the day and what, you know, what the, what the earth, I mean, what the, the atmosphere, what, you know, we take for granted offers us, you know, it's, you, you can't help but, you know, just be astounded by it. And, and I think when I look at, you know, even, even the most mundane thing, just be it a puddle, you know, or a, a bank of, you know, a, of the alouette here, I perceive it a certain way. Maybe it's just, you know, a romanticized kind of, I guess for the lack of a better word, but, um, you know, romanticizing even the boring and, and putting it in, in these beautiful conditions and, uh, you know, making something that is just plain and, and boring, making it beautiful. Kind of release all your babies to the world and it's always just kind of interesting to see you know when they go up on the walls at, at the gallery um, to kind of see and read if what you had intended is kind of being read properly you know it, it's kind of this barometer of, of of direction of something doesn't sit well with me and when it comes out of the studio, you know, it may be good, you know, it may be well executed, but you know, something that just doesn't quite jive with the painting, it will show itself pretty quickly to people, right? You know, people, people are a pretty good gauge. It's how it affects them emotionally. You know, not saying that the work is all, you know, soft and fluffy um, and sentimental. You know, it's not like that at all. It's, you know, I want you to see something that I've done look at it and, and truly be moved by it. You know, like look at it and just absorb what you're seeing. You know, and I, I think of a, a, a somewhat of a pretty good understanding, you know, of, of kind of letting that out onto canvas. I mean, I, I'm deeply affected by what I see um, when I'm walking around down on the dikes and in the marshes and stuff. It's just, there's just something about that landscape that just absolutely speaks to me. Um, you know, last year was, was a very difficult time in my life and uh, it would just be like everything that I saw, you know, how trees hung, how water reflected, how the sky was lighting up certain parts of, you know, of the earth, of the grasses, and it just, it just kind of transcended everything that I was feeling. You're in the city, you know, there's houses, rows upon rows of houses and cars buzzing all over the place. And then you go out there 
and it just it's just such an instantaneous change and it's you feel like even though you you hear stuff going on around you you feel very very alone out there like very alone and um it, it's just you know be it maybe this spiritual you know for the better use of a word a spiritual place to be for me um you know it, it, it's just it's magical it really is There's just something so beautiful and lush and mysterious. This area has got such great history, such great history. I read a really interesting quote, and I'm trying to remember who goes to the effect of abstract painting is as literal as it can be because it is, it is paint on canvas with no real intent other than to be abstract, as opposed to realism, which is the illusion of painting light, atmosphere, distance, and perspective. And how abstract is that idea? You're looking at water, you're looking at how it reflects the world above it. And compositionally, I use it just to to balance paintings, you know, but it, I also use it to kind of mirror, you know, imagery. And um, it, it just, it's all about balance, you know, it's all about um, this kind of momentary stillness, this, very, this momentary kind of uh, quiet um, that can change instantly, just, and it's gone, it's fleeting. And when I tell you that, you know, there's lots going on in the studio, there's lots going on. Oh, I have to, that's the thing, right? It's, if I don't, and, you know, I could sit and work and, uh, you know, on pieces for, for months and months and months and produce virtually nothing a year. I'm, you know, quite happy with, I feel like I've, uh, you know, I've accomplished something. But I'm really excited to think, okay, well, you know, I've still probably got another another 40 years, you know, of painting. I figure I'll probably paint well into my 80s if I can hold a paintbrush, right? And it just, I, the possibilities of learning, you know, new things, experimenting with new mediums and, and um, new styles and, and just new imagery, you know, um, maturing, maturing that way artistically is, uh, is an exciting thing for me, so. But living my life as an artist, saying, you know what? I'm not going to have anybody dictate to me what I'm going to what I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint what I'm going to paint. I'm going to do it really well. I know I know what is good, what is not good. Uh, not good never makes it out of the studio. Why perfectionism? Why the orderly kind of lifestyle? And it's it's like you know you you're given a gift to be able to create and create anything. You know it's just a matter of believing that you can do it and. You know, as, as you get older, you start to believe that, yeah, you know what, I can do this. I can do this. You know, you walk into a gallery, you're walking to a museum, and you see something, and you think, wow, that is fantastic. I need to learn this. And you learn it. Your, your mind, you know, working as an independent thing, um, away from your abilities, starts, you know, to, to work. And you start applying what you've just technically learned, thinking, okay, the limitations are just, there is no limitations, it's just the possibilities are endless here. And so, as long as, as long as my hands work, things will, you know, things will continue to, to kind of move forward. The hard work pays off, right? It pays off. The harder you work, it, you can't, you can't fail by working hard. You can't fail by learning. I've spent my whole life feeling like I've failed, and I just, this is one thing I will not fail at. This, I refuse to allow that to be. Yeah, it's yeah, just a willingness to want to learn.